Hello everyone and welcome back to our Let's Play series and today we are here in our jungle base, right? and we didn't build too much stuff, we built that house the nether portal and uh, this hallway that goes through the stronghold, right? Uh, so today I want to work a little bit here and I also want to make a creeper farm, a charged creeper farm so yeah, that will be for uh, later in the episode but yeah, uh, the idea is today to build more houses around this valley here and try to work a little bit on the stronghold too because uh, we just worked on this first room here uh, the portal room, right? and we modified a little bit, just a little bit, right? but yeah, I wanna work on all uh, the rooms here on the stronghold, right? Uh, try to uh, fix this kind of parts that are broken and all that, right? And another thing I want to do is a jungle temple, but not uh, the one that we usually find around uh, the jungle here. I want to do a really big one. So I notice uh, just next to uh, where we are building there, there is this really uh, flat space here. So we could build a jungle temple here, right? They have farm a little bit, maybe this lake here, right? And connect the jungle table uh, to this part of the base here. So yeah, I guess let's go to a time lapse of me doing all those builds and I will come back later with you guys. Okay, so as you saw in the time lapse, we uh, built the houses and the temple. But first, I'm gonna show uh, what I did in the mode uh, here. So, I switched the torches for these lanterns and I tried to connect with most of the rooms, right? Because some were dead ends, right? So, I just broke some walls and uh, connected some rooms, right? Yeah, so now let's go back uh, to the surface here and see. Uh, what we did in the time lapse. Okay, as you can see here, uh, we made a lot of houses and I made this uh, wall here. Uh, first, I had the idea to make more houses there, but exactly like they are here, just uh, making a door or something. But I think this uh, looks cool, right? This, uh, in my opinion. And yeah, the houses they are, uh, each one are different, right? In different shapes, different materials, right? But yeah, they don't have interiors. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, on that side we have more houses, right? Now we have this stairs here. Yeah, I think the houses uh, look pretty cool, right? Uh, I didn't uh, design them uh, in creative or anything, I just uh, did it here on the fly, right? <laughs> and I think the uh, result's pretty good. I like it. Uh, most of the houses are... I like all of the houses, but yeah, some of them I, I think are better. Like this one, the, the roof is uh, pretty cool, right? Uh, that uh, one there, the roof is also great. Kind of a different shape, right? Yeah, but now let's uh, check the temple. And I did this tunnel here, so we can get uh, to the temple, right? In this uh, little bridge here. And yeah, we do have a, a bunch of grass, and I, I tried to place some of these uh, warped roots and warped. Uh, What's the name? I don't know. Yeah, this 
carpet vines and stuff and I place string here so they don't grow too high right and we have this kind of a uh, totem here or something <laughs> yeah and I also uh, made something inside the uh, temple uh, that I didn't really show in the time lapse uh, because I built the outside first right so yeah first we have this door here and as you can see here we have a maze <laughs> Yeah, and uh, let me see if I can find, because uh, this is not uh, any maze, it's a living maze. <laughs> yeah, what that means is uh, we have some doors uh, in some places, and uh, those doors open and close it uh, kind of uh, handle, right? Uh, I think one is here, let's just... Yeah, I'm gonna wait here to see if this door opens and I, I will cut when it happens. Okay, so as you saw the door opened and yeah, it takes a while. Uh, maybe I have to change a little bit the timings, right? Okay, I couldn't find the end of the maze so I cheated and uh, dug up here. Uh, the maze itself is down here as you can see. And yeah, here we have the doors. Uh, so how this uh, system works is, as you can see here, we have an item floating in the cobweb. And uh, whenever this item gets to the hopper, it will uh, drop another item. And when it drops the unstackable item, uh, the signal will be strong enough that uh, it will open or close the door, right? It will toggle the door, right? And yeah, we have, a, I think we have a, about 10 of those, right? Yeah, we have a 10 of those. And then we have this door here that is uh, when you get to the end here. Let's try to show this. Okay, so here is where you have to get. Uh, yeah, through here. And yeah, when you get here, the, in the center of the maze, or in the center of the temple is at the end here and you get some gold blocks <laughs> that's the prize and... and get out of the maze <laughs> and i think i will consider this finished uh, maybe i will come back here to work more on the lights here because at night is uh, pretty dark and on the grass too like i said right and maybe connected uh, that halfway with the other one or you know some details maybe but yeah overall I think I did everything I wanted to do and I'm trying to uh, make something useful in these uh, projects that we have right these uh, building projects uh, just so we have some reason to come back here right uh, like for example in the swamp base we have the uh, blue orchid flower uh, farm and here, uh, obviously, we already have the stronghold, that's already a reason to come back here uh, when we want to go to the end. But now we have also this uh, maze here, if you want to uh, make a time trial, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, now let's go to the second project of this video, that is the Charged Creeper Farm. So uh, we're gonna go to the Creeper Farm that we already have. And modify that a little bit okay guys we are here in our creeper farm right and we use this farm to get gunpowder and also uh, music discs as you can see there is a skeleton there and when I click this uh, the piston removes a block there so he starts shooting us and we get some music discs here but yeah as you can see we have a lot of music discs so I don't use this a lot for uh, music discs mostly are used to get uh, gunpowder right with a looting sword here and yeah, as you can see it's pretty fast uh, you get a lot of creepers because the farm is huge <laughs> yeah let me try to fly here so you guys can see the farm yeah so we have uh, 36 platforms uh, that spawn creepers 
and has a cat in the center of the platform to scare the creepers on a water stream and that moves them all to the uh, middle here and we kill them here so yeah the idea is to make something uh, to instead of letting the creepers fall down here uh, we push them into a water stream and uh, make some place to rename them with a name tag right so they don't uh, despawn and then uh, push them to a place uh, where they will uh, be waiting i guess for a thunderstorm and when we have a thunderstorm uh, we can uh, use a trident to get some charged creepers right and yeah also we probably will need to make another mob farm it doesn't need it to be as big as this one right but it needs to be one that uh, we can get creepers skeletons and zombies so then we can move them uh, next to the charged creeper and get their heads right yeah so that's a little bit of work <laughs> so i guess i'm gonna do that on a time lapse again <laughs> so yeah enjoy the time lapse Okay guys, so you saw in the time lapse I built the farm here, uh, so let me explain how it works. So we are at the creeper farm and right now it's in the uh, normal mode, in the gunpowder mode I guess, right? But if we turn this lever here, uh, you see this pistons push a bar there and it activates one dispenser. Uh, that spins water and pushes all the creepers uh, to that place there. And here we have some name tags, right? And when we press this note block, that uh, gateway, our uh, uh, main gate will open for uh, a picture for a second. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and the creepers uh, will go. To, uh, the holding place but I need to rename them so uh, I can uh, block them here and yeah there is a little bit of a problem that uh, uh, this is fast but there is a lot of creepers there so every time we get more than one right but what I like to do is leave this open and uh, place only one I mean, tagging each slot. Uh, so this way, I'm sure I'm gonna only use one, not gonna use two in one creeper. And the ones I didn't rename, they just despawn uh, after a, wa a while. And yeah, we are getting sometimes some zombies and uh, skeletons here. I guess I forgot to place trapdoors in, in some place there in the creeper farm here. But yeah, let me. I'll show you guys now the other part of the farm. Yeah, so as you can see here, the creepers uh, go through this tube here. And yeah, there is sometimes a little bit of a glitch that I uh, can't see through glass because I think it's because of sodium, right? But yeah, as you can see here, we already have a whole bunch of creepers, right? And uh, I think I had three stacks of main tags. So here we should have about 130, but yeah, I will rename it, uh, use all these name tags here. So we will have about 196 reapers. And yeah, what happens is uh, when it starts a uh, thunderstorm, uh, oh, this is the glitch I thought. <laughs> yeah, we need to uh, hit this armor stand with a uh, channeling trident, and all these creepers will. I turn into charged creepers uh, but yeah when I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna turn this water on just so they stop burning right and also this water pushes them here uh, where this minecart picks them up and drops them in this other uh, water stream here and they will drop down here and yeah, as you can see here we have a little bit of a problem because we already have some uh, small zombies here right yeah that's because uh, 
you can see here uh, we have a, a mob trap there that I built. It's a simple one, that one that we have four, uh, four uh, platforms and some trapdoors. In, in this uh, cross shape here we have water and push them here. But yeah, instead of uh, giving them damage, they just fall down here and wait for uh, us to press this note block here. That's the same uh, thing there, it's a fence gate. And yeah, we, I guess we will have a little bit of a problem, but uh, we can just kill some of the mobs here, right? And just make sure we have only one, and then we can uh, grab a charged creeper here and use a flint and steel to lift up the charged creeper and get back and get a zombie head, right? But yeah, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time in these farms here uh, probably in the uh, drone farm we have here get more tridents too, right? and yeah, when a uh, thunderstorm starts I am back with you guys Okay guys, so after 6 hours using the farms here, it finally started the thunderstorm. Uh, I have my trident here, so let's try to hit that uh, armor stand. Let's see if it works. Oops. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of the creepers died. Uh, yeah, I think that's because they probably took uh, some uh, painted crane damage, yeah, so maybe we need to use less creepers here. <laughs> but yeah, now let's try to get one head at least. Uh, do we have any mobs here? Yeah, okay. So we we'll get... Okay, here we got two mobs. Yeah, maybe I... Maybe I will uh, change this for also a minecart like that one. But now let's press this. And the minecart should get a creeper. Nice. Uh, and of course, I forgot my thing still. <laughs> and maybe it, it's a good idea to sleep right now. But let's just do this one. Let me turn the heat boxes on. Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, and of course I left my choker box. Oh my god, that's just... Oh my god, my choker box if my lighter is there. How do I get out of here now? Oh my god, this is really bad. Mm. Um, yep, I didn't think this is true. Uh, do I have Ender Pearls? Okay. Let's try to do this with Ender Pearls. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. See. Try to get to there. Okay. Yeah, now I need to go back to the end and get another light ring or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that was really dumb. So, um, I come back with you guys when I get my stuff back. Okay, so I got some rockets here in an elytra. Uh, so let's try to go back there. And yeah, I also slept here <laughs> just so the thunderstorm stops. But now I need to fly back to that uh, portal. Okay, I'm, I'm here at the Creeper Farm portal. Yeah, hopefully our stuff is still there. Oh my god, the 
it was really dumb. I don't know if I use obsidian it will protect me from uh, explosion damage better. Probably will, right? But yeah, I think I got all my stuff back. But let's see. Okay, we got a zombie head. <laughs> yeah, that was the the goal all the way. Worth it, my death, right? <laughs> okay, I think it, the only creeper there is the shattered creeper. Uh, so let's try to activate it. Oh shit. No! Oh my god, it was out of the water. Oh shit. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this farm is. Uh, need a little bit of work around, I think. Okay, guys, I fixed everything and I also uh, changed it here. Uh, now, instead of that fence gate, we also have a minecart. So we have a, uh, we get one mob on, and we did get a, a skeleton school from that explosion before. I guess it's great, right? But yeah, let's test this, and now we have more obsidian here. Uh, but just in case, I'm gonna <laughs> hold that totem of undying here, right? So this should get us mob. Okay, a creeper, nice. That's the one we need. Uh, and here we have, we should get a charged creeper. Work now, okay. And yeah, also made this piece in here, uh, so we can uh, stop the creeper from jumping. Mm, but they do, do float a little bit. So let me try to show. Use these slabs here. Okay. Mm, now, yeah, the only problem is when we are trying to get a creeper, sometimes we could link uh, the other one, but I think if I'm seeing the name, it means this is the creeper, the, the charged one, right? Uh, let's see if this uh, obsidian here protects us. Oh, it does. Nice. And. Okay, now I can't see the uh, chest there. Hopefully, removing the obsidian won't make too much of a difference. And we did got a creeper head. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, so now I'm gonna work a little bit here to get more heads. And I will come back with you guys in the nether hub because I need to show you guys something there. Okay guys, we are back here at the nether hub, right? And yeah, uh, first let me show you guys how many heads we got. Uh, so, uh, we have this one I'm wearing and 26 more, so 27 creeper heads, 30 zombie heads and uh, 25 skeleton schools, right? Uh, yeah, that's way less than the 3 stacks of uh, name tags I used, right? But I will uh, do a fix for that later. Uh, I think the fix is just gonna uh, remove the floor where the creepers uh, wait, right? The renamed creepers, and place uh, waterlogged slabs. So when they get struck by lightning, they don't burn, right? And yeah, I'm only activating that uh, water uh, when we need more creepers near the minecarts because. When there is a lot of creepers there, we don't need that, uh, that lever active, right? And the other thing I wanted to do is I did some banner patterns here, right? Uh, but I still need to do two more. So that's why we made a creeper farm or a charged creeper farm today. Yeah, so now we can make this uh, banner pattern for the creeper, right? And the other one is the golden apple one, or the enchanted golden apple. And yeah, this is the only enchanted golden apple I have 
So I guess I have to explore more and find more <laughs> enchanted golden apples. Okay, the other thing I need to show is the banners I made. Uh, because I noticed in the last episode they didn't get too close to them, I just showed them from far away here, right? So this is for the Piglin Veteran Farm, uh, this one is for the desert, uh, this is for the jungle, uh, this is for the flower forest, uh, flower farms, right? Uh, this is for the perimeter, uh, this one is for the end, uh, this is for the winter farm, this is for the ice farm, this is for the swamp, and this one is for the gold farm, uh, because it's like another portal but yellow because gold, <laughs> right? And now that we have the uh, creeper banner pattern here, we can make the uh, banner for the creeper farm, right? And you can also duplicate it here. Yeah, so now I just need to place uh, in the creeper farm tunnel, that should be that one. <laughs> Nice, now we know where the creeper farm is. And I also replaced one of the ender chests here with this chest, just in case I die again, <laughs> right? Yeah, and another thing I forgot to say in the last episode is the dimensions of this uh, nether hub. So the walls uh, here, the center is 0, 0 and the walls are at 49 blocks, so 49 or minus 49, right, depending on the wall. And the roof there, that honeycomb block there, is on a layer 120. And that honey block all the way down there is on layer 22. And of course I did design this in a creative world. And then I used the little Metka uh, mode to make a schematic and uh, to be easier to rebuild here and to know uh, the materials I needed, right? Okay guys, I'm back here in my end base. Uh, because uh, I want to show you guys something that you probably have noticed. Yeah, the shulker boxes that were up here are gone. And uh, yeah, uh, they are probably here. Yes, they are empty here and I still have some in my inner chest here. Uh, because I, I didn't really like that system. And also now we have a more space here. I removed the... Uh, well, all the shulker boxes and stuff, and now we can just fly away here, for example, if you want to go one of the farms here, right? And yeah, by the way, this uh, potato, carrot, wheat farm that we made a few episodes ago, uh, it kind of works, as you can see, we do have it. Uh, this is probably a lot of time <laughs> that I spent here, uh, but yeah, it kind of works. But yeah, like I said in that episode, it's a little bit uh, weird because the villagers use the composter to make bone meal, so yeah, sometimes it produces some stuff we don't want, like bone meal and bread, right? But yeah guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and also thank you uh, for the support in the last episode, the Nether Hub episode. A lot of people watched that episode and a lot of people like it, so yeah, thank you. And I hope you guys also like this episode, and I see you next Saturday with another episode of our Let's Play series. Bye!